in the women's group on, on uh, Thursday. On Thursday. And so I try to bring that word so that one, we can stay on one page with everybody and that we're all kind of getting a, a, a full idea of what's happening within the congregation. Okay, so the word that we had for this week was um, hadash, right? So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like this. Okay, so it looks like that. So it's a hit, a dalit, and a shin. Okay, so um, can somebody give me what the hit is? Like the Hebrew, the, the letter. So it's a fence, a tent, I mean a fence. I mean a separation. wall. Separation. Separation, okay. Dalit. Tent door. A tent door, right? And, now pass and a shin. To eat or to consume or destroy. To eat, consume, or destroy. So I think I sh share with you uh, at a previous time that when you have, there are three letter roots, they're called shoreshes, and then there are two letter roots. Okay, so the two letter root for this word right here is het dalit, and it literally means wall door. Okay, very simple. So wall door is the idea of a wall and then adding a door into a wall. Okay, so if you've ever heard me up here and I talk about the New Testament, the New Testament, the term New Testament or New Covenant in Hebrew is called Brit Kadashah. Okay, so the same word right here. So it actually means um, new or to renew or to make new, right? Okay, so if the New Testament then is a wall, head, dollar, right? What does Yeshua say that he is? He is the door. I am the door. Mm -hmm. So I'm the dollar. Correct? Mm -hmm. And so what happened because of sin is that sin created a wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And what this wall did was it separated us from the Father. Yeah. And so what Yad, Yad, and it, it, it's a wall of a house. It's not just a wall to infinity anywhere, but it's actually the house. And so what Yad did is he didn't create a new house. What he did to remedy the separation was <clears throat> he put a door. Hallelujah. So new right? Wait, I'm not even done. No. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a verse. So you know everything in Hebrew has is action. It's a verb. So you have to when you're looking for a definition of a word, it's not always the first one that makes sense. But you have to go to the law first mention. So it's the first time that that thing is mentioned in a working form. Okay, so let's go to Leviticus 26 and 10. And this is why for me I'm so passionate about knowing both the old quote-unquote, and the New Testament. Leviticus 26.10 says, And ye shall eat old store and bring forth the old because of the new. Ooh, that's good. So this is the verse that gives you the definition of the term we use for the New Testament. The New Testament, or the New, the, the new Covenant, is brought forth from the old store. So it comes from the Old Testament. It's not a new thing. Yeah. So when Yah is giving us Yeshua, he's giving us, like he said, I'm bread from heaven. Well, everybody who understood what that meant pointed back to manna. Oh, he's manna. He says, I am the door. Everybody knew what he's talking about. I come from the fourth tribe. I come from the tribe of Judah. So he says, any man that comes to the house or through the wall, right, without the door, he said, that man is a, thief. is a thief and a robber. And a robber. Right. Yeah. All right. So, um, and then I'll give you the last point that we made in the women's class. We use the Can idea. You, before you go, could you read your version of 2610 one more time? Okay. My version says, and ye shall eat old store and bring forth the old because of the new. Okay. Oh, and I'll just read the next one because this one is prophetic. 
and I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul, my soul shall not abhor you. The tabernacle mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. Yeshua. Yeah. So we dealt with this idea of renewal. And renewing doesn't mean to make something brand new. Because in order to make something brand new, it means you throw out the old. So a New Testament automatically means that the old is obsolete by definition. So we use the idea of a, a Persian rug. I have an expensive Persian rug in my house, and somebody comes in in their high heels and walks over my rug and snags it. So do I throw out my rug now? Or do I call up the Persian rug maker and say, hey, somebody snagged my rug, and I put it into the shop to be fixed. And when it's fixed, then I go in and redeem it. So the picture of renewal or the New Testament is man marred Yah's law with sin. And so what Yah does is he brings the blood of Yeshua to come in and to repair or to renew that covenant again so that we have an opportunity through his work to then keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Hallelujah.